Today I'm going to go on a little discovery with you. There's a lot of claims about how direct drive is better than stern drive. So I want to take a look at some of those key claims. And those are there's better safety, there's less moving parts, which means that there's less maintenance, there's less bow rise, and there's better shallow water access. So let's take this Sea-Doo 230 Wake as an example and see how well it meets those claims. Since you're probably more familiar with the stern drive, let's see just what I'm speaking about in the direct drive. Looking from underneath on the trailer, you can see the direct drive uses a nozzle system at the stern and that it's nearly level with the keel. There are no moving parts here, only the nozzle and the jet of water as it's forced through at a high rate of speed. The nozzle is moved to direct the flow, allowing faster reaction and more precise control of the direction of the boat. This has an additional safety benefit in that there's no spinning blades that can do severe, even deadly damage if a person comes in contact with it even if the motor's not turning. However, you must be aware that there's tremendous thrust in the direct drive engine, and that's also dangerous. Just like any boat, you must make sure there's no one behind the stern when operating the engine. We often hear about the benefit of taking your sea doo into very shallow water. The fact that you don't have the drive gear sticking into the water is the primary reason you're able to do just that. Sea doos draw just 12 inches versus twice that or more for most stern drive boats. When it comes to getting on plane fast in a hole shot, it's hard to beat a direct drive boat. As for bow rise, the direct drive engine is gulping water from beneath the keel and shooting it directly out the stern from the first spin of the impeller. It doesn't have to lift out of the hole like a stern drive before it catches momentum. Rather, it's instantly propelled directly ahead, therefore creating minimal bow rise. This means forward visibility is far better with a direct drive boat during those three to five seconds when you're getting on plane and the bow comes down. In my test, I found bow rise to be between 19 and 25 degrees in hole shots on the sea doos versus as much as 45 degrees or more for some stern drive powered boats. Another obvious yet very important part of the equation is maintenance. Just like an automobile, a stern drive system has an engine, transmission, universal joint, drive gears, drive shafts, and a wheel. The direct drive of the sea doo is just that, direct. The engine turns the shaft, which is connected directly to an impeller for no transmission in between. The impeller pulls water out from under the boat and propels it out the back at the nozzle at high velocity. Sea-Doo's Rotax engines are maintained like any other marine engine, yet they do not have a transmission, gears, universal joint, or propeller to go wrong. The Rotax engines have larger oil capacities and much less stringent maintenance schedule, with the first scheduled maintenance after break-in period of one year. Direct drive engines deliver you more power faster, which means you generally have a faster time to plane than with other conventional drives. Because sea doos draw only 12 inches, you can simply go many more places with a shallow draft direct drive power. Finally, because direct drives use internal propulsion, they are inherently safer. For all those reasons, I believe direct drive engines can be a very good choice for you and your family.